Hello. Today, let me read you a scripture from Exodus chapter 3. Moses said to God, If I come to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your ancestors has sent me to you, and they ask, What is his name? What shall I say to them? And God said to Moses, and I quote, I am who I am. He said further, Thus you shall say to the Israelites, I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the Israelites, The Lord, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this is my title for all generations. Well, today we learn more about God, about the Holy One, through the name. We're back in the story about Moses being commissioned to go to Egypt to deliver the people from slavery, to lead them to a place of freedom. And as we read, Moses asks, well, what name shall I say sent me? And the Lord said, the name is I am who I am. This is the name spelled uh, Y-H-W-H or Y-H-V-H that I've spoken about before that the uh, Israel, the Hebrew people say Adonai. <laughs> and today uh, I want to explain that this is connected in the Hebrew spelling to the root word Hayah, and that means to be. Now, in, in human language, this is the basic word that indicates our humanity and our relationship with time. We say, I am, you are, or, or if we want to say past, past time, she was, or perhaps future, he will be. That's uh, something you may remember from your language lessons, conjugations of verbs. Well, applied to the divine one, the I am or the to be one, it reveals God as the source, the reality from which all past, present, and future things and events come. Nothing can be without God. He is the to be of everything. Our being, our life right now is securely connected to the infinite one. To be in any form is to be connected to the source of being, and nothing can exist outside of this source. Mystics call this the ground of being. Another way of saying this is, uh, and I quote, the universe is interrelated and interdependent, rooted in an ultimate reality that both transcends and participates in all that exists. That's a quote from a woman named Joy Mills. We're rooted in a God who participates with us. Good news. You aren't here by chance happenings, uh, independent or alone in a world of chaos that can be very frightening. You and I are a part of an intricate and a, a beautiful, may I say, beautiful plan, a being of God with purpose and a divine connection. Believe that today.